Good afternoon, you lovely Microsoft people. Uh, today, this was in relation to a question someone asked me this week. We've been doing a couple of courses on making your inbox smarter, so how you can work better in Outlook, reduce the amount of emails, and then we're going down very well. But one question came up and it said, well, how do you move all the meeting responses to a different folder? So you know when you've set up a meeting, you've sent out the meeting invite and somebody accepts or declines and they'll come back to your inbox. So you could end up with 20 or 30 meeting responses in your inbox that you, you don't need. And you don't need them because they all, the responses live as one list in the meeting. So there's a couple of things there. First of all, there's the rule, which we're going to use to move those messages into another folder so they're not in the way. And secondly, I'll show you where you can see the meeting tracking and you can see who has responded. So let's jump into Outlook and we can have a look at this. Um, the first thing I would do is I'm going to make a new folder for my meeting responses. So over, I'm, I'm going to make mine as a subfolder, the inbox, there's the inbox. So all I need to do is right click on the inbox, new folder, and I'm going to call it meeting responses. Okay, that's the nice easy bit already. So now we're going to create a rule that's going to move those meeting responses into that folder. Um, we're going to go to the rules menu at the top. We're going to go from um, a blank rule. We're not going to use a template because this one's a little bit more tricky and there's not a template anyway. So let's go to the top of the screen. That is up here. There we go. To rules. And I want you to choose manage rules and alerts. Or you could choose, let's go create rule actually. Create rule. Okay, now I don't want to do it this way. I'm going to go advanced. Lovely. And that's going to take me into the box where I have a lot more choice. So let's, um, now there's, there was a lot of choice in here. So the first box it comes up with is what, when do you want the rule to happen? So basically it will happen when the message comes in, but what's, what is particular about that message? And if you're ever working on rules, you've got to think, what is the criteria of that message to make the rule happen? Now the one I want is quite far down the list. There's a lot in here. Uh, and you might, don't, if you want to watch this video a couple of times before you try it, that might be better. So the one we want is this one here. This one uses the form name. So we're going to, going to tick that. Let's tick that. And then what happens with this box? Doesn't give a lot away. Down the bottom, it says form name in blue. Now I have to go and put something there because if I don't put something there, I'm not specifying the criteria and Outlook won't let me move on and create the rule. So let's click on full name down the bottom of the screen and you end up with this mystery box here. So at the moment it's looking at personal forms. I'm going to change it to application forms and um, nothing to do with job applications or anything like that. And I'm going to choose accept meeting request, add that in and the decline meeting request add that in. So that way it's going to pick up all the acceptances and all the declines. I'm just going to see if there's a tentative as well. Oh there you go, tentative meeting because obviously some people respond with their thinking about it. You might, that one you might not be so keen, I don't know, let's add that in anyway. Right, let's choose close and what you'll see has happened down the bottom here is it tells us, it says, apply this rule once the message has arrived. Use the, and it's it's listing the different things. So it's tentative, decline, or accept. So because it's got or in, I know it's doing every one of those um, eventualities. So good, so I know that bit's set up right. So let's do next. And now I want to move it to a specific folder. So I'm going to tick the move it to a specific folder. Don't forget, come down the bottom, find the blue text, and it says specified, but I need to tell it the folder. So again, if I don't tell it the folder, it won't let me move on. So let's go specified. And I'm going to choose my meeting responses folder that I've set up. Choose OK. So here we go. So it's going to move it to this particular folder. Um, so once the message has arrived, and if it says tentative, 
decline or accept, it will move it to the meeting responses folder. I'm happy with that. Choose next. Uh, I don't want, to want any exceptions, so I'm going to choose next. Um, you do get an option here to run this rule. Now, it's entirely up to you. What I tend to do is I get it set up and I test it, and then I might come back and run it a bit later, because what it will do, it will go through the whole inbox and move any messages, so any historical declines or acceptances will be moved into that folder. So it's really good, but I just want to make sure it's working all right. So for the moment, I'm not going to switch that on. We'll do that in a minute. Let's do finish. And that's good. Okay, now it's always good to test it. So I'm going to send out a meeting and let's see what happens. So if we go to a new meeting invite, I'm gonna go, um, there we go, new appointment, a uh, new meeting. Okay, uh, so let's put in title, let's put in test. And if you're doing this, you might want to try it out with a colleague um, because I think sometimes that way you know it's worked. Okay, so I'm sending out a test for Friday at half four. And we're very popular, so let's send that one. Okay, and let's do one more as well because we want to. So um, I'm not doing this by the calendar, just you might have noticed. I'm actually using my inbox, but I'm going to new items, an appointment, you don't have to go, to, or meeting, sorry, you don't have to go through the calendar um, if you know when the meeting's gonna be. So let's go new items, meeting. Okay, so let's put it in again. Let's call this one another test. And we're gonna make this one for Monday, a little bit more civilized, Monday afternoon. Two. Right, okay, so let, let's send that and we will see, oh, I've got to put in who it's for. Okay, all ready to go. So we're going to send that. Uh, okay, and let's see what happens. So let's have a look at our meeting responses. And I know there's a little blue number two there next to meeting responses. So I know two emails have arrived. So let's come and see what they say. Okay, now unsurprisingly, they declined the one on Friday afternoon, there we go. They've accepted the one on Monday morning. Um, yeah, that's good, so I know my rule's working. Um, let's go in, I'll show you how to see in the meeting invite, the tracking, um, and then I'll show you how to run the rules now. So just bear with me a moment. Don't forget to um, subscribe as well, because obviously I try and put out content that people find useful, so it might be, might be a video coming your way that you're um, want to know about so don't forget to like and subscribe okay let's go and check out this meeting tracking so here we are in the calendar uh, there's the meeting on Monday so let's just double click it to open it up okay and all I need to do is go to the top of the screen there's tracking up there and there we go I get a list obviously I've only invited one person but if you are doing a meeting where you've invited 20 people that's going to be 20 responses going into your inbox those 20 responses will now be moved into a subfolder and you can come into the meeting look at the tracking and see who's attending you don't need to go through all those emails in your inbox because that's a pain okay so we've done that one more thing we've got to do we're going to go back to I'm just going to shut that down so I'm back in the inbox. I just want to check, I want to run that rule on any existing meeting invites. So let's go to the top to rules. And now I've tested it um, and now it works okay. So we're gonna go to rules. I'm going to go to manage rules. Um, and then I'm going to run rules now. Now, just a little tip here. I'm going back here. If you see any item, if, so if we look very carefully at this, See if I can zoom in. There we are. See where it says run rules now, and it's got three dots after it. So if you ever have anything in email or Word or Excel that has three dots next to it, it will take you to another box. It won't just do the action. So I know by clicking on run rules now, because of those three dots, the little ellipse. I, I am going to get another option. It's not just going to go and run all the rules. And that applies to anything. So look out in menu options when you get those three dots because you know you've got another option coming. Anyway, let's go run rules now. 
and I can now choose my rule to run and tick it and then I'll just go run now and that would run it on everything in my inbox. So I could have I could have done that at the beginning in the setup phase. Personally I like to test it and then come back and run it, but whatever works for you. Good luck if this if you give it a go, um, because it is really annoying when your inbox gets full of meeting invites and responses that you don't need. Bear in mind these are the responses to meetings you have sent out. Hope you found that useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for listening.